Kaufman is someone we haven't really looked at in a while, and neither has anyone else, but we have we have some new stuff, very exciting stuff from Peter Coffin, who has been part of some drama and shit before, but I don't care. It's irrelevant. Um, I mean, it's not irrelevant to some people, but it's relevant to me. I don't care. Um, so H-Bomber guy put out a couple videos, or a, a video recently about James Summerton. We covered it. Uh, we also covered the apology. If you want to watch any of my coverage on that, which I'm sure you do, uh, you can you can surely find it on the channel. Um, it would be you know a couple weeks ago, and just recently, I was actually one of the only people that was able to watch it, react to the uh, apology, and then post it before he deleted it. Um, I mean, a lot of people got to it, but not everybody. So he made two videos. Peter Coffin did. Well, they, sorry. Uh, Peter go Peter uses they, them, uh, so, uh, throughout this. Sorry, I was looking at H-Bomber guy. Uh, plagiarism is awesome, and here's why. Um, love cool. the implication of stealing the title sequence and the thumbnail stuff from H-Bomber guy uh, during the plagiarism is awesome clickbait video. Um, and then there's, it's the system, stupid, more H-Bomb plagiarism plagiarism crap if this video is interesting enough then maybe we'll watch the second one uh, not today but another time uh they blocked you i think they blocked me as well thought we were done with the boomers oh i'm pretty sure uh i'm pretty sure peter coffin is a member of the millennial groups uh they're so dull this is the dumbest video i haven't watched it yet <laughs> i haven't watched it yet all right, so here is here's the video. Plagiarism is awesome, and here's why. I'm imagining b due to the uh, sort of like is is Peter like tanky now? Is this what it is? How would you describe? Is it Othcom? Because it seems like it's going to be. It seems like it's going to be a. You can't have pro intellectual property or something, which is going to miss the entire fucking point. But here we go. Hey, my name's Peter Coffin, and I was just thinking to myself, Hi. you know, I don't really know who the baddies are right now. I keep seeing all this war crap on the news, and war. I don't have a lot of input in terms of war. So whether it's Islamophobia versus anti-Semitism, Republican versus Democrat, I can't decide who's the baddie. Wow. Do they, do they, are they aware that they sound right wing when they do this stuff? Who's the baddie? I mean, it's, it's, Zionists are definitely bad. Um, the Republicans are definitely worse than the Democrats, though the Democrats have many faults. As a leftist, I would agree with that. Um, not a fan of the Democrats, but they're not the same. We shouldn't compare them. <laughs> You know, I think what I need is some YouTubers to hate. Are there any YouTubers who've done, like, something justifiably hateable? Something really easy to get people to hate? I don't know. That is not why Harris makes the fucking videos. Get a YouTuber to hate. Imply implying that it's some kind of, like, grift? <laughs> You're doing the same thing. What? Is isn't that, like, literally your content? Say A, do B. Am I seeing YouTubers here? Am I seeing some, some other YouTubers being talked about from time to time on here? Come on. You're doing that right now? Okay. All right. Like, if I'm not mistaken, they're constantly embroiled in some kind of bullshit. <laughs> I feel like there's always drama going on over here. Can you... It, it's pretty weird how I'm very rarely part of drama. The biggest part of drama that I ever have is I'm solving the drama. When I'm involved in drama, it's me going, okay, here's, we're putting an end to drama. <laughs> and then we stop it. These people are, these people suck. Something where there's like a law or something that we don't interrogate because we've naturalized it and act as though it's just simply an inherent thing that's wrong. That they're, they're, you know, crossing the line YouTube on. Plagiarism oh, what's this? Books, An H bomber guy video about YouTube plagiarists. All right, and I know that you're thinking to yourself, okay, all right. Like a good little YouTube viewer, I clicked your video, I clicked like, I subscribed, I ran. Oh my god, I fucking. 
ring the bell. I did all that stuff. Now you got to tell me this insane opinion you have about how plagiarism is awesome. And well, it's not. It's not a cool thing to do. But over the course of this video, I'm going to ask you to consider an alternative view. It's not really so much that it is a good or a bad thing, but instead a result of circumstances and conditions. Now, H Bomber Guy starts by showing us. <laughs> it is a bad thing under the current circumstances and conditions, actually. It's, it's bad. It's bad to do uh, under the current circumstances and conditions. An example of some authors who took it to the man and won. He notes... Yeah, this is pretty hard to listen to, actually. Like, the mic is a bad thing. Um, there was a video that came across recently that said, why do all the why do all YouTubers have hold their microphones now? I don't know the answer. Should I... Sh I'm sorry. Should I do this to make it look like I'm holding a microphone? To make it look like I'm very professional? Here, I'll do this from now on. I'm sorry, guys. Here, I have a microphone. I have one. ...to us that I'm this happens... Too, yeah. Almost never. And he says to us, that's just what you gotta expect. You can spend ages on a unique video with an original idea, and a way more popular guy can rip it off, along with its thumbnail, get a bajillion views, and rake in the cash. Yeah. On YouTube, if you have an original idea, if it's good, it won't be yours for long. Why? Yeah. Why does that happen? So, four hours later, he tells you, Why do people plagiarize? We've talked a lot of superficials in this video, wanting money or prestige or clout or to get one over on your enemies by jacking their stuff, but these are small things. There's other ways of getting those. The reason humans copy like this, I think, goes a bit deeper. We don't exactly live in a world built for humans, do we? There's no guidebook for happiness or success or a sense of place in the world, and the people claiming to have one for you are really just trying to sell you something. We spend most of our little lives struggling to make these feelings fade away or find something to placate them. It's either on we or being on weed. <laughs> I know it's a little pretentious, but we're all searching for a sense of meaning and purpose in our lives, and those things are hard to come by. There's a little bit of nothing in all of us, and we'd like to fill it with something. Opening your web browser and seeing someone who seems to have it figured out, making you feel better and entertaining you, and seeming to attract an audience on this roulette wheel of a planet, that's powerful. There's someone who seems to understand- Just wholesale uploading this clip in the plagiarism is awesome video without much commentary at all. Um, <laughs> I'm not personally super comfortable just sitting here watching Harris for this long without saying anything or having having any sort of input. <laughs> and what they're Maybe supposed to be doing. Injury. And it's working. <laughs> that's all anyone really wants. Sure, in retrospect, a bunch of people wanting to be exactly like the AVGN sounds silly. But he knew who he was. He was the angriest gamer you've ever heard. We can laugh. In fact, you're supposed to. But that's a human being with purpose. There's someone who's not anxious about their place in the world anymore. It's very difficult not to want that completeness for yourself. Not to just be like someone, but to be them. To attain that sense of knowing. Alright, so there is some truth in what he's saying. There is a lack of meaning in the world. That's true, right? That's not false. But plagiarism is not the plot of Highlander, okay? What? You don't kill them to become them. That's not it. That's not how war is. That's not how this is. Hmm. Wow. Uh, I don't think that's exactly what Harris was saying. Uh, no, it, it's, it was just, it was, uh, wow. A little reductive. Battles that are fought in the real world are fought over material conditions. Yep. The material conditions that in between those four hours that you, you, know, you clip the beginning and the end, uh, those were discussed throughout the middle section, the four hours. The material conditions were, like, primarily part of it. Uh, H-Bomber Guy's central argument in that entire video is, look at these people stealing from other people, you know? Due to the fact that they make their living writing words. And James Somerton stole those words, therefore stealing their labor, which is something that, as a leftist, you should not want people to steal labor. Right? This is called class warfare. <laughs> Love people with fake mics. No, it's a real mic. That's a real one. Right? And the same thing goes for plagiarism. But that's not what's discussed in the four hour runtime of this video. It is actually discussed throughout the entire runtime. It finishes with a we're going to start a fund for these people to improve their material. It literally, this is, yes, it does. 
In fact, the closest that HBOM gets to discussing intellectual property law or IP law, the actual IP issue law. at hand, the uh, formalized reason that plagiarism exists, the only- We don't care about the law. What law? What does this appeal to the state about? What? <laughs> uh, H. Bomber guy and James Summerton live in different countries with different laws on this issue, I'm sure. Uh, this is... It's not about legal recourse for James. It's, it's just the ethic of it. This would be wrong in the commune. The only discussion of that, and it's quite sparse... Uh, but cool. the only discussion of that in this video takes a very naturalistic stance towards law. Law exists. Here's the thing about law. Law is neither natural uh, or neutral. It's the product of systems of power. <laughs> so glad. So glad we kept that taken. Uh, your IP or the seven jokes about World of Tanks isn't him mentioning the monetary incentive of this, right? That is to say socioeconomic systems. The structures that dictate how the world runs. Laws come from that. So who is the ruling class in capitalism? It's the capitalists. So who does the law ultimately serve? Well, the ruling class, the capitalists. Mm -hmm. But even by answering a few simple questions, we get into talking about systems. Yeah. And that's not what HBOM wants to do. HBOM literally in the clip just talked about the systems that cause this. There's a joke in the video, if I remember correctly, like near the beginning, where H-Bomb literally goes like, I could just say this is capitalism, but, you know, let's do more. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to know what we're supposed to do about plagiarism. I think trying to fix it in any systemic way could risk making it worse. Let's imagine YouTube introduced some kind of plagiarism claim system. We'd be expecting someone at YouTube to be able to decide whether something is plagiarism or not. And I don't like the idea of YouTube having any more power than they already have. So in my eyes, there's, uh, there's two major problems with this. The first one, the obvious one, um, he just outright discourages looking at this systemically. He straightforwardly says, what? don't even think about fixing this systemically. Like YouTube side, this is a great still. I think he does that because this is a four hour goddamn video and he doesn't talk about systems. He spends the entire time parading around examples of people doing plagiarism on YouTube and saying hashtag do better. It's important that individuals take more responsibility here. Very fired up about this. Uh, so... <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I, I I think it's important to not plagiarize people. Like, specifically, the, the rub was James Summerton specifically does it to, like, LGBTQ authors and other marginalized groups when talking about stuff that he doesn't actually know anything about. Right? He just literally rips their words off. I don't, I don't understand why you're for, for, like, not talking about that. And any time he even vaguely approaches the border of individual responsibility, uh, he tiptoes up to it, looks down, has a nervous look on his face, and he turns around and he marches right back because if I go any further, I'm going to sound like Peter Coffin. <laughs> no. Dude, what the fuck? There is a, there is a self-centeredness to this v uh, total, like, just this right here. Oh, yeah, and then H. Bomber guy would be like, you, I'm thinking too close to Peter Coffin, and H. Bomber would go like, who was that again? Oh, yeah. No, but I have to assume that he turns his ass back around every time he gets close to that border because it's a four-hour video. There is absolutely zero chance that over the months that it took him to make this video, it never occurred to him that we could go deeper, that we could talk about systems. He had to come up with something at the end to justify why he didn't talk about the economic system. The H. Bomber guy is openly anti-capitalist. This video discusses that. This video, like, everyone already knows we exist under capitalism. <laughs> like, we... <laughs> this video didn't need that analysis. This person is plagiarizing, and that is the fault of capitalism. End of video. They're just lying. I know. That's what that is. 
Now, the point of my video isn't, hey, H. Bomber guy's a baddie because he doesn't do the right things according to what I think. I'm not calling H. Bomb a baddie here. I'm not trying to direct you towards attacking him. I'm just not that kind of creator, okay? Uh -huh. And whether H. Bomb is or isn't, this video is that type of video. Jesus fucking Christ. Go. Cool. I, I do not think exposing somebody for being a grifter is bad ever. I am this makes me deeply suspicious of Peter Coffin's content immediately. I've never I don't even watch this stuff. And it makes me go like, hmm, you're you're pretty you're pretty against people looking at this. The one time H Bomb doesn't go on a whole side rant about capitalism, right? There were there were lines throughout the video that I mean talk about capitalism and its effects. It's pointing out a bunch of baddies out there for you to hate, for you to dislike, for you to go after and attack. And if you don't think that's what it is, here's H Bomber Guy's producer saying, Hey team, I made a post for all of you to post your additional plagiarism discoveries and recommend excellent queer YouTubers so we can get our plans in motion. Uh, you see, what this is, is a Reddit post that makes sure you know it's positive by recommending some good queer YouTubers first. And Place your plagiarism discoveries and queer YouTuber recommendation recommendations here. Here's our Google Forms and Reddit accounts. The video is out. We've seen people sending us YouTuber recommendations, but it's getting buried in all the other. So I want to make a special place for people to recommend you to scratch the queer media essay, pop culture commentary. It should bring kind of commentary that isn't visible on the platform. Once we have time to watch all the and vet the vids, uh, I'll be adding them to a recommendation playlist and find other ways to highlight them. I worked very hard on the playlist, so I have really solid list creators and never grab people's attention. Second, more plagiarisms. I also wanted to make a space for people who share additional plagiarism discoveries about any of the YouTubers we featured so we can compile a more complete list of who have been plagiarized. Once you have the list complete, uh, we'll distribute our ad revenue for this video to the people on the list, prioritizing people who were never paid for their work at all. It also may be used to make more second channel content. People have also been requesting a way to donate money to the plagiarized writers, so we are working on that now. We may even do a fundraising stream. And then make space for the juice. What's the juice, you might ask? Well, it's a list of people to cancel. It's Internet Historian, who's a big baddie. Internet Historian is super far right wing. Summerton is a baddie. Summer Summerton did did rip off a lot of people. We a boss is a baddie. I don't know who this is. Uh, I know it's a video. Of, uh, 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 um, I mean, how do you? This, these these are going to be vetted. So this is just a post. Johnny Harris is a baddie. So people posting on this is what you're upset about. Uh, Johnny Harris. I don't know who Johnny Harris. And and all uh, apparently this is sorry if this is unrelated but here's the evidence and Tom Nichols did a cool. great video about how, the sketchy so this person's already been called out for this guys I figured it out they're mad no one recommended him what internet historian is still a baddie I guess James Stephanie who? Sterling is both a baddie and a queer creator worth recommending <laughs> oh and an internet historian also uh, a baddie uh a Jimquisition video came out. Uh -oh. <clears throat> oh, it wasn't Jimquisition being bad. Hmm. Uh, of course, Tumblr picked up on the whole hashtag do better message and really went for it. Internet historians alt right anyways. Great day to have never liked James Summerton. Never even heard of Illuminati before this, lol. That's great, buddy, but don't go around thinking you're immune to this. If you're not looking for plagiarism, you likely won't notice it unless it's egregiously obvious. Hel Dude, I, the, the fucking voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch a lot of Peter Coffin stuff. I mean, I really haven't watched any other videos, maybe ever. Only saw some Twitter stuff. Um, ugh. What did it? What it? What just like a like a ugh, like personality? <laughs> it, I don't know. It, it's very. It's very like. Look at these fucking losers. <laughs> they like. 
this video is very popular and I don't like it. I wasn't involved. We're not about me. Like, okay. Well, you've probably consumed plagiarized content without realizing it. Oh, you're the baddie. He just he, using a lot of you're the baddie. This is the one burn we have. You're the baddie. Well, who's the baddie? We're the baddie. It's like the third or fourth time. You need to hashtag do better with your content consumption, folks. Hashtag do better was that's the fourth time we've done this. So this nine minute video has been a lot of repetition so far. Let's see if the see if the next half will be better. Um, just saying, if you guys wanted to like, you know, interrupt. Okay. Even H bomb pointed it. out that these people disguise what they presented pretty well. As would long as you didn't try it. and dig deeper, don't come away just thinking of this as a call out piece. Take this as an important lesson about vetting your sources. If googling scripts and quotes was enough to expose the original, we should all start doing this shit. Okay, so maybe it's cringe to be upset about this. I don't know. Uh, is, are, we, are we saying that it's cringe to be upset about plagiarism, Peter? I think you should, if you make if you make a video, you should cite your sources. It makes me deeply concerned about any of the fucking... Does Peter do video essays? So remember how a few seconds ago I said that the laws of a society are generally set up to protect the ruling class of a society. In our case, in capitalism, the capitalists. Intellectual property law doesn't actually really protect like individual creators. It protects the class that owns everything. Now I'm a Marxist, so when I talk about class, I'm talking about it qualitatively. If you are the owning class, if your relationship to means of production is owning, that means you are the bourgeoisie, the ruling class. How we're talking about laws right now very easily maps onto that, but it's not just qualitatively that it works. It also works quantitatively, even within the subordinate class. If you're a creator with less resources than the person stealing from you, fewer resources, fewer, you're probably shit out of luck. In fact, H-Bomb says that explicitly in this video. We actually started off with this quote, but I want to play it again real quick. Okay. You yeah, so H-Bomb mentions this. Spend ages on a unique video with an original idea and a way more popular guy can rip it off along with its thumbnail, get mm -hmm. a bajillion views and rake in the cash. On YouTube, if you have an original idea, if it's good, it won't be yours for long. I have no idea how this is uh, H-Bomber guy failing to understand the system of capitalism. Here's the problem. Anytime he mentions intellectual property law, copyright law, anytime he mentions that, it's... Did the laws ever come up? I actually don't remember laws coming up for H-Bomber Guy's video. I don't remember H-Bomber Guy suggesting any kind of violation of, of any statute or law at all. Just about how it is enforced, uh, specifically badly, how it's enforced badly. But then he goes on to tell us that if there were more tools for enforcement, that would also be bad. I think trying to fix it in any systemic way could risk making it worse. So yeah, on YouTube. Ultimately, all that we can ever really have is just the bad people out there, the bigger creators. The way more popular guy. Not the media companies, not the platforms, not the owners of everything. Not those people, but people who make content. Those people need to just behave better. If um. So. I Okay, so the argument seems to be at this point, you can't blame anybody under capitalism for wrongdoings against their comrades or peers or whatever. So if you if you steal from me because you are, you know, uh, you're not starving or anything, but you just you just want to make more money, so you can you can dishonestly make money under capitalism and defraud people because you're a victim of capitalism? Hmm. Yeah. This sounds fucking stupid, Peter. This sounds really, really dumb. Ha have you thought about this at all? You just seem mad. You seem upsetty that this doesn't have anything to do with you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be some salt here that I'm not... I don't understand where it's coming from. Where is the Harris salt? If you're a small creator and make a video that's decent and it gets more traffic than anything else on your channel and some bigger creator sees it, rips you off, and has a huge success, well, guess what? That is their work now. And that's just...
It isn't. That's not how their work works. How can you say the theft of labor is is an a a, a, a valuable way or a ethical way to operate? That doesn't make any sense at all. Would you make the same argument if if James Summerton took that and then sold it to like a company? Like if James Summerton wasn't an independent artist, right? It wasn't an independent artist. Wasn't an independent fucking YouTube uh, uploader. Uh <laughs> That's the nicest thing I can say about James Summerton. He was a YouTube uploader. Um, if he takes that instead to, you know, Fox and sells the idea of your video, is that better now or worse? Like, is it only when it interacts with corporations when you're upset by that? Like, capitalists are bad on an individual level and as a collective. I have no ill will towards someone who is trying to survive under capitalism and has to do some things I do not think that you always have to do things unethically I think for instance I don't think it's unethical to steal from the billionaires that you are so upset about which I agree like billionaires suck but they don't have anything to do with James Summerton being a plagiarist really other than like the capitalism we're all in but to dismiss this would dismiss just fucking everything anyone does under capitalism. It's like, how many crimes can you dismiss because, like, capitalism is a thing? Like, oh, my God, this person hit their spouse because they were stressed about not being able to pay their bills. You can't blame them. Like, even though, even if that's a valid excuse, even if, even if poverty is what drives you to have so much stress that you strike your spouse and you beat them, that doesn't make it excusable. That doesn't make it, well, it was capitalism, so you can't... <laughs> Like, what the fuck? This is really stupid. How things are. So whether or not plagiarism is good or bad doesn't really matter. Whether or not it's cool to repeat things other people say without crediting them is, I mean, that's an individual moral stance. Um, I don't really give a shit. People rip me off all the goddamn time. People have been doing it for years. Who rips off Peter Coffin? Who rips off Peter Coffin's co Who? Name one. Name two. Who is that? What? There is delusion of grandeur here. There is some kind of something going on. There is a there is a neuroticism, a self-centeredness, maybe a narcissism. I don't know. What is going on? A lot of a lot of uh weird insert how people think about me all the times in this video already. That's like the third time you've said, and these people think about me a lot essentially wild and if i was angry about that all day every day you know what i would never not be angry because people always do it people are making videos like this based on shit i've said for years and then there's other people what? who take shit that i've said and warp it so that it's something that services their agenda and makes them sound smart when they have a totally different point than what i wanted to put across no one has plagiarized you show receipts let's do it right now I do not believe you. Who? Who? Who is? Who is like? Ah, yes. Let me. Let me pull from the lauded Peter Coffin files and see what brilliance I can uh, abscond with. They're stealing things for their own benefit. And if I spent all my fucking time being angry about that, I would be a fucked up, angry person who is obsessed with shit I can't control. Hmm. That would be the case. It's not the case. Definitely it's not the case. But I, it would be. It would be if this was a totally different situation. It's not the situation that we're in, though. Okay? <laughs> Other people. Do you want to know why plagiarism even matters at all? It's like, literally so worked up that H-Bomber guy said plagiarism is bad. Literally yelling into this microphone, Angie, at nobody, into the camera. Systemic incentives. Why yes. aggregate content rather than create it? Well, creativity is labor. It takes energy and focus and Correct. time. Yep. And if someone steals your labor, what do you consider that? Aggregating content. Yes, it does take those things, but to a lesser extent. And not only does it take less of those things, but it's content that's already proven itself. 
and understand fewer of those things. Understanding that, it becomes pretty easy to see why people plagiarize. It's because it benefits them. I, this is a terrible argument. Would you make this argument for any other thing in society that's bad? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yes, we agree. People are placed under stress due to the effects of capitalism. That does not mean that we should victimize each other in the pursuit of getting out from under it. This makes no sense whatsoever. This is not different from saying it's, it's ethical to steal your money out of your cool. wallet. Like, hey, buddy, like, this is, <laughs> this is one step away, and it's literally just the in-person confrontation of it from mugging you, right? Like, just the threat of violence. And, and, and if they steal from you secretly, this is the same thing. So if someone snuck into your bedroom and stole your wallet, or wherever you keep it, but they never talked to you, never, never, you weren't even there, you none the wiser exactly like stealing your intellectual property is this is this not a thing that you because they're you know they they have to survive under capitalism so stupid dude not to be twisted with the uh, infinity thief though um just because someone steals from you doesn't mean they need to be fucking gunned down in the streets or whatever you don't have to be psycho it's it's almost like we could we could police properly I'm not telling you where I keep my wallet, Jake. It's in your bussy. I already know where you keep your wallets. All of you keep them snug in your bussies. Duh. You are incentivized to create videos that get as many people as possible to watch it as quickly as you can. Doing great. Why would that not incentivize plagiarism? Yes, we agree that it incentivizes plagiarism. But plagiarism is against the rules. Clearly, they don't want to incentivize that. It doesn't matter. Those rules don't matter. The rules are just formalities created to protect the bourgeoisie when they need protecting. This isn't... You're complaining about someone protecting the working class from someone who is stealing their labor to make enough money to be considered petite bourgeoisie, right? So, like, I, I, have, no under, I have no idea how you... Like... How your class ethics get you to the to this to theft th stealing from the working class is good actually. He's so fucking dumb. They are fucking dumb. Fuck. Chat, you're fucking me up. I literally read Annie's comment. Fucked me up. I'm calling you out because you fucked me up. It was you this time. You got me. So if someone steals Peter's content, that's just cool with them? Well, time to download some videos and re-upload with ads. Literally, yeah. The one example of authors getting recourse against a corporation to demonstrate how nobody gets that done should tell you all about the laws. But instead... No one's talking... Bomber's video was not about laws. We need a baddie list. We need people to cancel. Because you know what? That creates a lot of engagement, and it makes you seem like a crusader for good. The reason plagiarism happens in the mode that it does is because it's incentivized and rewarded. The only way to address those things mm -hmm. is by changing the system. Okay, so we could change the system, and also it's okay to hold people to ethical standards. There is no problem whatsoever with holding people to ethical standards. Whatsoever. Literally calling H-Bomb a clout chaser in their clout chasing video? I know, right? Not by asking people to behave better. There's a reason that they uploaded two of these videos. And that's so why moral... Most views they got all fucking... Like, maybe, maybe in the last... Let's see, how long was it since the last video got 10K? This is 10K views two weeks ago. Before that, it has been two years, and that was 15K. Three years ago, there was a 12K viewer. Wow.
moralistic critique is stupid. It is ill-informed. It is counterproductive. It is something that makes things not change. Now, me making a video on a subject isn't going to change the problem. Oh, interesting. So why did you make this video? Hmm. You're doing the thing in this video that you said H-Bomber guy shouldn't do. And I want to draw a very important distinction between what I just said and this. Sure. I'm not smart enough to know what we're supposed to do about plagiarism. When you get- I am smart enough to know how, what to do about plagiarism. <laughs> ...and you say, look, I, I don't really know what to do about this. What you're doing is retreating from your criticism. Criticism is self-evidently what needs to be done. If there's a thing that's happening that- You just said the criticism wasn't valid, you fuck. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You just said the criticism wasn't valid. No, the criticism can be valid without Harris having a prescription after the criticism, like a specific prescription, because it's much more complicated than than one example or multiple examples, I guess, in the video, if you're including Illuminati, but this is just about Summerton, essentially, uh, like or mostly it's about Harris. Peter has fallen off so fucking far and sad, yeah. That's bad. Then by doing the criticism, you're saying that thing needs to stop. Then when you say, look, I don't really know what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. You're retreating. You didn't go far enough with the criticism if you don't know what you're supposed to do. And you did four fucking hours. Of course. <laughs> Whoa, mic drop. Uh... <clears throat> We'll be getting an example on how to prevent whatever Peter's complaining about. I'm sure we'll get a prescription. Yeah. It's an individual can't solve the problem on their own. Duh. We need people with a... Uh, they did once kick themselves in the balls uh, for attention, yes. A functioning critique, working yes. together, engaging with power. To just say, I don't know, guys, after four fucking hours is just nihilist horseshit. If you did your job, yes, you do know what we have to do. You don't know exactly where it's going to land. Dude, this energy is so fucking strange. What are you mad about? What is angering you? I actually don't understand where this is coming from. You don't know what the future is going to look like, but you know what the problem is, and you know that we, the people, need the power to address that contradiction. You need a mob of people that knows their shit. Well, count Peter out. That's the solution, friends. But no, it's sensationalist blame machine media. That's what this is. I foment a fandom around myself by pointing out the baddies to feel better than. Uh huh. Uh, so. It's not just about the baddies, dude. Like, what, do you, what video did you want Harris to make instead? Capitalism is bad, the video. Every fucking video? I don't understand. Plagiarism, pla plagiarism bad. Here's how it interacts with capitalism. Not enough. Roblox.wave is the same goddamn thing. It's a bunch of people who did a bad thing that you're not supposed to like. Hell, Bloodborne is awesome and here's why is the same thing. It's telling you that you're bad at Dark Souls because you're using shields. You should use shields, you dumbass. You want to talk pathologic? H-Bomb made a long-ass video about how you're enjoying art the wrong way, rather than advocating for why something is good. The video pathologic for people who will never play it, which H-Bomb- Literally just salty about all the H-Bomber guy videos. I'm mad that H-Bomber guy has popularity. This is a big fucking mauled. Huge, actual, jealous mauled. Just mad at H-Bomber guy. What a pathetic video. <laughs> so it finally comes out at the end. Actually, all these videos are bad. This doesn't come across as a real criticism. It comes across as jelly. And I'm look, I like H Bomber Guy. I am not a diehard H Bomber Guy viewer. I've seen like five of the videos. Fallout one, New Vegas one, well the Fallout Three, New Vegas one. Uh, I didn't want, I don't play Bloodborne, don't care. I think I watched the Pathologic one, and then I watched Way, the, the Oof, and then I watched this one. Those are the, those are the H-Bomb videos. I like H-Bomber Guy. 
I believe we're moots. Same. H bomber guy, come hang out with us. Probably considers plagiarism is a significantly better video than his own because it understands that there is good content within that game. However, the way it is presented, both mechanically, visually, and any other factors, are things that will Just keep certain people from factors. getting anywhere near it. And instead uses the medium of YouTube to attempt to show people those ideas and that content with a different perspective. I'm Just a random fucking person sure H-Bomb would tell you that's what his video does, but no. It tells you that you're wrong in how you enjoy Just ranting with the door open is the kids flock about amazing art you're wrong you don't know what you're doing unless you do and then come on in the water's fine join the h-bomb fandom become a patron you'll see the videos before anyone else does now Dude, as much it's so it's this is <laughs> i can't actually believe that this is just i'm mad at h-bomber guy for having popularity we fell off and we're pissed. This is strange. This is like deeply strange. <laughs> well. Well. It's got to happen again. You know, you knew it. You knew it was going to happen. Dude, my neighbor is watching or is listening to music in the car again. At some point, I feel like I should just be like, okay, are you good? Do you need something? Now, as much as it is fun and cathartic to have a, a nice dunk at the expense of H-Bomb, it's really... Who? You dunked? Holy shit. I actually cannot believe they thought they dunked. What was the dunk? I don't like those videos. <laughs> There was no examples of why the videos were bad. You just said you didn't like them. You didn't do anything. You said, I don't like the videos that you do. Because I'm cooler. Cool, man. This is stupid. Jake, this is painful. Chat, you could have ended this whenever you wanted. Okay? You could have handed out cobs. You could have you could have gotten the cob steamer hot and ready, but instead you watch all of this in one sitting. This is your fault, not mine important that you understand h-bomb is not the problem nor am i really even mad at him gotta call in a whale bail it's too late i mean you guys don't even individually you guys won't even get i don't like the fact that he makes this kind of content i don't like the fact that it's about blaming and shaming and creating ideologies that divert people away from systemic thinking I it really does everyone that watches that video is a fucking leftist i would be utterly shocked <laughs> i mean other than i guess the clout fucking I hope you have a call. I don't like that. Lost like that stuff. And I am pointing out that he individually. I don't like his kind of. Yeah, it's just about that. Actually, is making that kind of stuff. But that's not really the problem at the core. The problem is the system of capitalism in its imperial stage, a global system uh -huh. built on top of a contradiction. A Dude, I can't. This is. I'm a huge leftist. I'm a huge. Uh, capitalism is the problem. Absolutely, capitalism is the problem and is. You know, this wouldn't be as big a problem outside of it, but plagiarism would be wrong under in the commune for the ethical reasons that are laid out in the four hour long video and that other people have said. This is fucking cope. Mr. Whiskers, thanks so much for trying hard to get us some of the juice. A contradiction that Frederick Engels so simply summarized in socialism utopian and scientific. A mode in which production has been socialized, however, the mode of appropriation is retained from the feudal system. So we have private appropriation of product and therefore profit. I am explicitly saying that capitalism is the problem. Whoa. And it didn't even take me four hours. Hope you have a nice day. What a, what a deep insight. Capitalism's the problem. I, I agree. Can, can we say anything other than that? That is so fucking stupid. That is maybe one of the worst videos we've seen in some time. Like... This is actually irritating. I haven't watched a lot of Peter Coffin shit. Ugh. This is... What a... What a... Just a fucking hater. Said nothing. Said, I don't like the videos that you like. I, I guess I have to watch well, this hey, video yeah. sometime. Holy shit. Well, hey, I just made this video... 
and it's the first time I've gotten any views in some time. So I'm going to make another one immediately so well, I can maybe, and then, ooh, wouldn't, wouldn't you know it? Wow, my uploads have gone up right after that. I, I made several videos in a row, all in a row, after barely doing anything for months and months. Because hopefully I can make a few dollar dues on this thing. Uh, it's not really working, but like, just absolutely shameless. <laughs> cool. Uh, I guess we'll watch. We'll watch some more uh, Peter Coffin next time. Well, hey. No. That was bad. That was really bad. Uh, H Bomber guy's video was good. This was bad.